Hello there, welcome back. In this uh, video lecture, we'll see a few of the Spark's built-in built -in functions. Or uh, can also call these functions as Spark SQL functions. Uh, we'll see how these functions can be used, how we can import the functions, and what are the functions available in Spark SQL. Uh, so I have already created an uh, object and I have uh, defined a main method. And uh, I have also declared a Spark session. So to work with the Spark functions, right? First, we have to understand what are the uh, Spark SQL functions available, and uh, how we can leverage this. There are a lot of functions available out of the box in Spark SQL. Uh, let's just uh, quickly have a see. This is Apache Spark's documentation. Uh, under this, uh, if you can uh, go here and search for functions, uh, you you can see that uh, Spark. ORG Apache Spark SQL under that you'll have something called functions. There are a lot of functions available under this uh, package and uh, can go through. Uh, you can find average and you can collect the uh, collect as a list or you can uh, find the correlation coefficient or you can count the uh, uh, count number of uh, records uh, for a particular uh, column or you can count the distinct values in your uh, column or uh, there are lots of functions available like min max and you, you also have uh, mathematical functions or uh, such as uh, tan uh, you can see here uh, tan sine cosine and uh, seal floor cosh degrees to radians conversion or radians to degrees conversion factorial a lot of functions available you, you can also see date functions available uh, like adding months to a date or adding uh, getting the current time stamp a lot of date functions is also available you can also see there are co collection functions like uh, explode or from json or to json or json tuple size uh, there are a lot of functions available in uh, collections as well in maths you can see almost all functions are available there are all these functions are categorized and uh, once you go uh, go to this particular link you can see what are the functions available what are the categories available and what are the functions available in each category there are categories like uh, aggregate functions uh, which deals with uh, aggregate oper uh, operations such as minimum max standard deviation coefficient correlation correlation coefficient uh, variance these kind of stuff and collection functions like uh, uh, size or sorting array or collecting as a JSON or two or from JSON and you also have date functions uh, you can see the math functions available and uh, you can also see string functions and uh, 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 you can also uh, you can also see the UDFs uh, available over here uh, right uh, we will discuss about this UDF part in our uh, future videos but uh, in this video we will uh, strict ourselves to uh, deal with uh, uh, built-in functions available see there are lots of functions available uh, so to use these functions uh, what you have to do uh, you have to add an import statement in your uh, um, uh, uh, program uh, like org apache spark SQL under SQL you have something called functions under functions you can see there are a lot of functions available uh, suppose I, I'll just uh, give a demo of uh, certain functions like uh, minimum or uh, min max or average these are the types of uh, functions I'll try to uh, just give a demo there are also uh, string functions available such as uh, uh, so let me just string functions like uh, to upper to upper oh, sorry upper I guess upper or lower or length These are the generic functions which are available. A few of the generic functions. Uh, we we may not be touch all the functions which are available, uh, but I, I'll, I'll I'll show you the way how to use these functions so that you can explore yourself all the functions which are available in your uh, uh, in Spark SQL uh, functions. You don't have to write all the functions from the scratch. Uh, Spark provides most of the functions. You, you just have to utilize those functions uh, to get the best performance and to, to save the time as well. Uh, so let, let, let I'll try to give uh, certain uh, uh, examples to just uh, give a demo or uh, feel how to use these uh, these kind of functions, uh, right? Uh, so I have certain files in my HDFS. So let me just load these files uh, so that I can just give a demo. Uh, let me 
this is a stocks file which I'm trying to load. Uh, so stocks spark dot read dot uh, options. I'll use options here. Map and uh, header is true. Schema true. Now I'll load the CSV file and this is the path which I have my CSV, where I have my CSV file. Now in this CSV file there are columns like uh, open, high, close, uh, symbol, series, all these things, right? Uh, so what I'll do, uh, I'll try to select certain columns and uh, um, I'll try to do certain operations. Suppose uh, uh, in, in for all these uh, stocks, uh, I, I'd like to convert this symbol which is in upper case to lower case, right? Uh, so this is uh, nothing but string function. So string function we already imported such as uh, upper, lower and other stuff, right? To use these functions, what you have to do, uh, stocks dot select. Uh, in under select, uh, the, there are two different uh, ways of uh, using the function. Either you can give a, a column as a string column name as a string or you can pass the column object any any of the thing you can do right uh, so uh, under this before selecting itself I would like to do this upper function I would like to apply it when I'm applying either I can pass it as a string or out by a column so how we can do uh, either I can do the like this talks dot call to use this column and I have to pass the column name uh, column name would be symbol right I'll give the symbol this is one way dot show what I'm doing uh, uh, everything is uh, already in uppercase right so I'll try to convert this into a lowercase so all the column names are all already in uppercase right uh, this is one way other way of uh, using the function would be uh, stocks dot select dot uh, lawyer of I can use something like a stocks I can pass this as a string like symbol this is another way of uh, showing the, or uh, giving the function, right? Okay, it is throwing an error here. Let's see. Yeah, Francis, uh, sorry, Francis was missing. So I have just given it. These are two different ways of uh, uh, using a function. Uh, for a function, either you can pass the column uh, column object or you can pass the function uh, column name as a string anything you can do it uh, so I have uh, done this right uh, so let me just uh, run this job now you can see the job is complete and uh, you can see the function is uh, running and it is converting everything into lowercase right these are the two different ways of running the uh, calling the function or building functions uh, the functions which we have shown here are uh, string functions uh, string functions and uh, similarly if you want to use uh, uh, like aggregate functions aggregate functions and uh, in aggregate functions you can use like min max or average uh, so let's uh, let me just uh, quickly show the demo of that as well uh, so aggregate functions can be apply, applied to uh, can be applied to a numerical column uh, min, right now min and max and average these these things can be applied to the numerical columns uh, so let me see what is what are the numerical columns over here i have open which is a numerical column uh, so I would like to do I, I would like to run what uh, I would like to see what is the minimum value of all the stocks which is available which are available right uh, so for that just have to run this I don't want to run these things right now because I've already seen these uh, string functions now you can see uh, we have found out what is the minimum value of all the stocks available right uh, so this is how uh, you can use a um, uh, built-in functions which are available uh, or uh, spark sql functions which are available 
so pretty much whenever you want to work with uh, any function or if you have the functionality which is already uh, uh, represented in the form of function in spark sql uh, it's better to use the same function uh, rather, rather than uh, implementing it uh, from the scratch okay uh, so guys uh, that's how you use a uh, spark sql uh, uh, functions which are available and um, that's it for this video lecture guys and in the next video lecture we'll see what is an udf and uh, how to create an uh, simple udf with that said guys uh, uh, if you are new to this channel please do uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, if, if you are if you like this video please uh, share the video and uh, give a thumbs up to the video Okay, uh, bye guys and uh, see you in the next video.